morning, Virginia. This is Virginia This Morning. Our next guest this morning has been acting since the age of 14. She writes her own material, monologues, monopoems, and dramatic presentations, and she's traveled sharing these pieces with audiences all across the country. We welcome Morgan McCoy to Virginia this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. Now, this is not normally the way you dress. No, no, not at all. <laughs> you are in costume. Uh, you're going to do a, a dramatic interpretation of Maggie Lena Walker for us today. Yes. Tell us about the costuming, first of all. Well, what I did, I researched just looking at how Maggie Walker dressed and people during that specific time and so I wanted to make sure that I really embodied the character and so that's why we have this long uh, this long skirt here and the lace top is the type of dress that she wore mm -hmm. um, but she also oftentimes wore big religious emblems but I couldn't find like a big cross that mm -hmm. um, would fit for her today but and from what I recall from reading about Maggie Walker she loved to always be dressed to the nines. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and that's what I found out in my research that she always looked very nice and even though she later on in her years had the disability, she made sure that she looked sharp always. So. Mm -hmm. As a historical interpreter, how do you really go about embodying uh, the, the spirit and the persona of the woman that you are recreating? Well, depending if I've known information about the character, for, for instance, with Maggie Walker, I didn't know half as much as I thought that I did. And so I went to the Maggie Walker house here in Richmond mm -hmm. and spoke with a tour guide there and just really asked a bunch of questions, researched online. And after getting all the information put together, a piece that would not necessarily give her whole life, but would hopefully encourage people to want to find out more about her, just mm -hmm. like I did. And she's just one of the many women that you do the, the historical interpretations of. Who else to have you decided to portray? Yeah, well, the first piece was on Coretta Scott King. And that was such an honor because I was 16 years old and I didn't know as much about our life as I thought that I did and I, I had to pre perform something for a talent show and that's what I, I did credit Scott King and just finding out information about her because a lot of these women we know little bits about their lives but we don't know the details and so that's what these monologues I hope really show just giving more information about these women so credit Scott King and Madam CJ Walker and Harriet Tubman mm -hmm. and some more. Now who do you do these interpretations for? all over churches, schools, conferences. Um, in addition to these monologues, some people ask me to write a monologue specific to their event and organization. So. Mm -hmm. Now, where did you start with the, the acting bug? What made you decide you wanted to act? To be honest, when I was seven years old, I watched Pretty Woman, which I probably shouldn't have seen. But, <laughs> um, and, you know, of course, I didn't see all the bits and pieces, but I loved Julia Roberts. And so I went around telling people, I never forget, I told people that I wanted to be just like Pretty Woman. My mom was like, no, never say that again. And, um, of course, she explained to me that she was an actress. Mm -hmm. And um, I just started following Julia Roberts, Angela Bassett, and just kind of fell in love with the art. And then I was exposed to um, monologue interpretations from James Weldon Johnson's The Creation. Mm -hmm. uh, Delegate Mary Christian did a performance of that and I was mesmerized and I knew that this is what I want to do. So not only are you doing the acting, but you're doing the writing as well. Absolutely. How does that help you to, to really portray the character in a way that you want to? Oh, wow. The pieces that I write, you feel more connected with because you know the, the blood, sweat, and tears that went into it and you want to bring that character to life. And so when I write a piece, I, I write it knowing me as an actress, you know, and knowing how I, how I perform. So it really does help. And in bringing someone, <clears throat> excuse me, like Maggie Walker to life, she's a woman we've seen in pictures and photographs, but we've never seen any video of her. We've never really right. heard her voice unless people knew her. How do you really go about embodying the spirit of Maggie L. Walker? Definitely, for me, prayer is one thing that I always do, mm -hmm. just because I want to make sure that I don't misrepresent. Um, at the same time, I'm, I'm not Maggie Walker. I am an actress portraying her. And so I think that for me, my goal is just to get that message across. And so even if it's creating a character that incorporates some of her, but not all of her, but just that aspect of her, I want people to get. And are you hoping that once people see these dramatic interpretations that they want to learn more about these of people? Of course, yes. Because even when I when I did this piece on Maggie Walker, I was inspired. You know, I hearing her life story and what she did, it made me want to step up and um, continue to, to fight for what I believe in. So that's what I hope that when people hear these pieces that they want to research them, but they also learn from the lives, like learning from our history. So mm -hmm. um, we can repeat the good and, and shun the bad. And this has helped you to move on too. You've put your monologues down in a book. Yes, I'm very excited. Something to talk about. It's a monologue and poetry devotional book. So mm -hmm. 
it's a, a compilation of all the pieces that I've done and I hope that people are encouraged by it as they read and not only is it just the monologues but it's a devotional piece so mm -hmm. it's inspirational messages and um, a journal section too so people can write as well. All right well Morgan McCoy and she will be back in just a second with an interpretation of Maggie Walker. We do want to let you know that Maggie Walker's house on Lee Street in Jackson Ward is a designated National Historic Site run by the United States Park Service. As Morgan says she went there and got a lot more information on Maggie Walker. You can do so as well. For more information on Maggie Walker and this historical site right here in Richmond, you can visit our website at WTVR.com slash VT.